Hey guys, this is me, Seth. In this very short uh, thing tutorial, I'd like to show you. Um, well, I was thinking about a way how to slice up a beat or two beats, and then have some sort of random mechanism happening that chooses to every playtime one of those two or three or four loops. So I came up with a very cool idea, I guess. Um, it turned out it doesn't work in uh, Ableton, so I had to switch to Logic. In Logic it took me about 10 minutes and I got it. So here's how it works. First of all, uh, slice ap apart everything here. Um, I have chosen to use 16th notes. Um, I did all the, uh, the, the cuttings here with the uh, option key held down. Now I create a new sample track which I call first beat and it's doing its thing and then afterwards we will have a software instrument boom and the original audio regions are muted. We repeat this process with the second track here Oops, second beat just wait a few seconds and there we are Okay, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to set up a new external me, oops, dot library opening, uh, track, and I copy one of those two regions to that track, and then I mute the other tracks and activate the cycle. We are done here, then we are we open the, en the environment, and in here we have these two software instruments. Now, now let me just move them a bit to the side so that we can see what's going on here. Um, so first of all, we need to have some kind of uh, random thing making kind of, you know, um, anyway. Uh, I choose the transformer here, which I set to status equals node. So that way we are filtering only uh, node messages. I then choose the channel to be random from one to one. This is a bit tricky to set. Uh, it's working sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't work when you enter it by hand. So, okay, I've set it now to one and one. What this does uh, is basically I have this monitor here, and when I cable up the transformer with the with the monitor and then set the track output of our grand piano here to the transformer and then hit play, you see a couple of notes coming in, but they are randomly from either tra channel 1 or channel 2. And we will now use these, these, this change to trigger either this instrument or this instrument. So in order to do that, we create a channel splitter and then cable up the channel splitter as well. The first channel splitter, oh, let me just create two other monitors so that we can see what's happening here and let me move away uh, delete the cables sorry okay we cable up uh, channel 1 with the upper monitor and with the first speed and the second output here with the second monitor with the up, uh, with the lower monitor and with the second beat and now when I press play uh, you can see in these monitors that either one of those are playing <coughs> Of course you can repeat this process or this uh, technique with as many loops as you like, Pro probably four or so are working pretty well. Um, just make sure that when you have let's say four that you create four channels. Now this should work with this technique for up to 16 different loops. Uh, you probably don't need so many loops but anyway. This is my cool randomizer, hope you like it, see you later, bye!